Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 12 of new USB tutorials we will be seeing about message chunk splitter and message chunk aggregator. So the message chunk splitter and aggregator are a component of flow control components. So let me open the project. So this is the project that I have created message chunk. So this is our flow. So we are uh, getting the input from an FTP server. So what I did is I used FileZilla server edition and I created a local FTP server over here. So and I created a user, user by the name new user and uh, I had a password for it and if I connect I have uh, actually linked the root folder of this to my D drive FTP folder. If you see D drive FTP, you have all these four folders, and you can see those four folders over here as well. Any point consume output input output YouTube underscore input. You can see the same set of folders over here as well. So I have simulated. It's not simulation. It's actually a FTP server. Okay. So for this example. So local host is going to be my host. So if you have any other uh, server, you can provide its IP or host name. So 21 is the port in which it is listening. And the path in which it will be listening is slash input. And I provided the credentials for the same as well. So it will pick the files from the folder called input, which is nothing but this folder. So we don't have any files over here as of now. Next we have a message chunk splitter. Okay. So the message chunk splitter can split a message based upon a message size and this message size is provided in bytes. So in this example every 78 bytes will be splitted and it will be written as a separate separate message. Okay. And you have a enable correlation so we have three values for this a never always and if not set so this is just uh, if there is a correlation id already for that input message then if you don't want to disturb it you can choose never or if you want to set an uh, correlation id if there is a correlation id already set or if it is not available you can use always or if you want to set a correlation ID only in case if it is not available you can use if not set. So we can use the default setting itself. Okay. So there might be questions why we need to use this um, flow control component. So there are some applications or sometimes we need to split the messages for some applications to process it. So might be there might be some uh, size constraints that it can only handle payloads of 1 MB but if you have a payload of 10 MB we might need it to split it to 1 MB each and provide it to the destination applications. So or uh, the application might need it into record level. So let me ex explain this example because I have a file which will make uh, things clear. Okay. So the examples file is in resource sample files. Let me go to that folder. Okay. So this is the file that we are going to use. So <coughs> let me open with Notepad++. So if you see that uh, we have a, a record, six records are there. So this is the employee ID, this is the Jenner and this is their date of birth and this is their bank account number this is the name and this is the salary and this is their martial status uh, so what there might be a uh, need for the some application which cannot process it as a whole so they might need each row as a single file so that's the example that we are going to work on now so if you just place the trigger over here. Okay. 
so you can see that uh, so till this the column length is 77 but if I press control A you can see there is an extra space as well so a record consists of 78 bytes so that is how I am going to segregate each record ok so now if I post this file I will get 6 individual files which will have uh, each will have each record in it ok so that is why I have provided 78 over here and it will be posted into another FTP server which is going to be the same one and it will put the output files in a folder called output I will show you the output folder as well so it is empty as well so now what we can do is we can now copy the file from here and post it into the in before that let me execute this So it's getting executed. Let's wait for uh, some seconds. So let me place this file as well. So once it is executed, it will be taken from the input. So it's done. Okay. Sorry, it's not done. So it's deployed. It's done now. And you can see as we have already placed the file. It's, it's gone now and you can see that there are six files over here so if I open this this is double zero two so this is six we have three we have the first record we have the fifth record we have the fourth record so this is how the message chunk splits the file and provides it as six different files to the output folder so this is how it is used and uh, we have another component called the message aggregator so this is the component so if i use it over here so you don't have to provide any parameters over here and um, what will be done is it will segregate all these messages into one message so now I will delete all the messages so now the input is also empty so if I if I post the just if I post the message over here in this layer it will be chunked into six messages and it when it comes to this layer again it will be aggregated into a single message and it will place the file as a single file in this particular FTP folder so let me show you we'll copy this. <coughs> and I'll, it's processed and you can see that it has aggregated and it has formed as a single file ok and now the aggregator has the intelligence to aggregate it for a file wise because now I have a this is like my input one which has Karthik Selvaraj as a first name which has six inputs I have another uh, similar type of message ok just John as a first uh, record name so if I post these two files at a time into that input folder in the output also you can see two files are not as a single file so that's how it works uh, so before that I will delete the message from here so I will post these two files over here so in the output you can see two different files so this is the this is the sign on with the name John so it has that intelligence not to merge everything into a single file and to merge only the files which has been split into a same aggregated file so that's all for this video we will be seeing about some other notes in my next video and thanks for watching bye